My beloved son, Saranoa, will oversee the matters of our house from this day forward. I expect you to serve him as dutifully as you served me. Of course, Lord Simon. I, my lord, our undying loyalty to House Wolford. My son, listen well. The Lord's judgment shapes the fates of his kin and subjects alike. Responsibility for their well-being now falls on your shoulders. You must lead them well. Yes, Father. I shall keep those words close to my heart. To that end, I require wise counsel. Together, you possess a wealth of experience. As Lord of House Wolford, it is my duty to consider the best course from every perspective afforded me. I shirk not from this responsibility. At the same time, I would be a fool to not seek guidance from those more traveled than I. For my house and my people, I trust I can rely on you. Well spoken, my son. I dare say you are more than ready to receive this. The scales of conviction, a holy relic said to be blessed by the deities of old. It was gifted to our family by the King of Glenbrook. From this day on, I entrust it to you. However, it is of little use without these. Coins. Seven of them. Tokens of conviction, we call them. Give one each to only your most trusted retainers and allies. They will guide you when the path is darkest. Their words will illuminate the pitfalls ahead. Heed well the advice of your friends and subjects and choose your steps carefully. Such has been the way of our house, and such you must see it always shall be. I will, Father. I shall treasure these gifts and make wise use of them in times of need. Very good. Now do your duty, my son. We await your orders, my lord. We depart for the capital at once. May this ceremony be but the first of many joyous occasions ahead of us. The House Lord! And so the stewardship of House Wolford passes from father to son. Lord Simone Wolford, beloved throughout Glenbrook, entrusts the future to young Serenoa. With the ceremony to mark the beginning of the joint mining venture and a tourney on the horizon, the Wolford set forth to the Crown City. With no heroic deeds yet to his name, the new Lord Wolfort sets his eyes on the proving grounds, eager to show his worthiness. Sir Lord Simon will step down. I suppose the time comes for us all to pass on the torch eventually. What wisdom has your father bestowed upon you? Hmm. He has told me what it means to be lord of a house. Very good. Serenoa of House Wolfort, the crown of Glenbrook now looks to you for loyal service and brotherhood. Yes, your majesty. I shall not disappoint. I dare you to say that again, Thalys. Must you make me repeat myself? I am the Prime Minister of Esfrost. I and I alone am fit to represent our nation. 
Go push your papers in the shadows like the minor lordling's son you are. You would say me? You, who would be nothing if not for your high birth. Your ineptitude is mocked by noble and commoner alike. Dragan, you forget yourself. You both forget yourselves. Frederica? If you must bray at each other, then do so back home. Your bickering will bring shame upon our nation. Such strong words, sister. Do you think you're above us now that you're being wed to Mighty House Woolfort? Please, Erica. My apologies, but the ceremony will begin soon. I ask the delegates of each nation to make their preparations. And you must be Sarah Noah Woolfort. Well, I suppose we should bother the happy couple no longer. Well done, Frederica. I see you've inherited your mother's wiles. She always did have a way with men. Too bad you also inherited her hair. That sickly pink makes me want a wretch. Pray forgive my cousins, Lord Serenoa, and forgive me if I was out of line. Those two, they were... Phallus and Erika Esfrost, full brother and sister to Archduke Gustadolf, and my half-siblings. I see. Well, I hope that we can all come together for the sake of our grand endeavor. <laughs>